Hello everybody, this is Philip calling from Switzerland. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. First of all, congratulations. What a fun program uh, called Platonic. Uh, it tells the story of a friendship between a married woman oh. going through <laughs> a midlife crisis and an old colleague of her who has just split up. So you played the main roles of Sylvia and Will, and you also produced some episodes. So what did you guys particularly like about this show? Um, you know, I think the idea of exploring uh, this kind of conflicted friendship um, between these two characters, kind of two, char uh, two people kind of going through opposite midlife crises, you know, um, a guy who has kind of never grown up and uh, a woman who kind of has grown up a lot, very fast, <laughs> um, reconnecting mm -hmm. and, and, you know, those kind of personalities, seeing if they can stay friends, that to us was a very funny idea, you know? Okay. So where is that idea or inspiration for the program coming from? Well, uh, Nick... Stoller, our director and writer, and Francesca Del Banco, uh, co-director writer, they pitched it to me early on, I mean, like four or five years ago, and I thought it was interesting. And I was like, I've not seen like a, a, a any kind of outside of like when Harry Miss Sally or I don't know, you know, which obviously ends in a very different way to our show. But um, and having had a great, you know, experience with us, all of us working together on the Neighbors movies, um, it felt like an opportunity to explore like Seth and I's dy dynamic. Um, in a different way and like the conflict is between us rather than like the you know external forces of the fraternity which it was okay. neighbors and um uh and in the end it's not really about the gender it's just about this friendship they have that is very uh you know they bring out the best and worst in one another so and they're both okay. sort of having these midlife crises at the same time crisis i see crisis. <laughs> so the the, the big question is, of course, can women and men really only be friends, apart from Laura Dern and Sam Neill, of course, <laughs> to, follow, to follow up your joke in the program? <laughs> uh, I, we think they can. We, we, are, we, uh, we are in favor of men and women being We have evidence. Friends. We are friends. <laughs> I have lots of female friends. Yeah. She has male friends. I yeah. think the, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I think I would argue unless you're weird, you should be able to be yes. friends with people of any and all genders. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. So my time is almost up. What would you like uh, the audience to take away away from that show? Oh um, look, I mean, yeah. I mean, mostly it's a co it, exactly. it's like a, it's a it's an R-rated adult comedy, and that's something that like we've made a lot of times for film, and we've really never done it for television before. So it was exciting to. <laughs> you know, bring the kind of tone and sensibility that, um, you know, has like created a lot of movies that people really love and, and, and to make that as a television series felt kind of both really original, but also getting to do something that we, you know, really like doing. Okay. Rose, Seth, thank you so much for talking to us. Again, congratulations, and I hope I see you soon for another one. All the best to you. Enjoy Switzerland. Thank you. Yeah.